Hi friends, this is Dr. Ashwin. This is a case of 64 year old male patient with a relatively softer cataract that is NS1 to 2 grade with dense PSC. Here I'm having the tripam Bluetooth stain the anterior capsule. With viscoelastic device, I'm removing the air bubble, but I'm not able to completely remove the air bubble here. So I have to use another instrument to get it out. That is hydrocanula I'm using here. Uh, going for the capsular excess with a 26 gauge bent needle. In such soft cases, the excess usually tend to go out just like any other total cataract hypermature one. So you have to be careful with it. I was real extra careful with it. So I ended up with a smaller excess in this one. Here I'm using a 2.8 millimeter keratom to make the entry. Here I'm going with the hydrocannula making the hydro dissection. Uh, one of the best and easy technique to handle such soft cataract is to uh, get the nucleus out of the bag, get it to AC and easily aspirate the nucleus because it's a very soft cataract but yeah I didn't go for it in this case. And the second technique is going for a deep trench, dividing the nucleus into two halves and taking one hemisphere into the anterior chamber and emulsifying it. And I attempted the same thing, but obviously we can see things are getting cheese wired easily. So that was not very successful here. In such a scenario where you feel like you're stuck and nothing much is happening, better not to play around with the FACO Pro. I will go with the hydro dissection cannula, just inject the saline, get the nucleus into the anterior chamber, I can easily emulsify it. Always try to use your second instrument, whatever it is, if it's a chopper or a Sinsky hook or a spatula, to get the stuck pieces into the iris plane and help the FACO prop emulsify the pieces easily. So well, here I am almost done with the nucleus, now just the epinucleus plate is remaining, even that's done. So what we are left with is just cortex. I usually prefer a bimanual IO probe to remove the cortex. It's uh, much more controlled and uh, sub, sub incisional cortex are much more easily removed uh, unlike the coaxial one. Here is just one more piece of cortex is remaining and even that's done. So next is our intraocular lens implantation. I'm polishing here and there a little bit. As you can see the red reflex is not that great here and I'm not able to see the posterior capsule that that well. Here I'm forming the bag going with the intraocular lens. So here the injection of the lens was not that smooth. So as we can see, this is not that great way of injecting the intraocular lens. And this could lead to posterior capsular rupture or even zonal dialysis, but I was lucky in this case, nothing like that happened. I always try to get the visco removed from behind the lens. Always uh, try to remove as much as viscoelastic possible. Uh, I have this technique of uh, removing the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber with the irrigation probe itself. This helps in removing the visco which is stuck from the angle easily. Here I'm doing the closure of the wound. So I'm checking the wound and the uh, eye is formed quite nicely. Speculum is removed. Thank you.